Hey, everybody. Thank you for taking the time out of your very busy schedule tonight to spend a few moments with me here on SML TV. Very quickly, I just want to clap back at what just took place a few minutes ago. As many of you know, uh, several hours ago, this Chilofia Tayali, this young man that is a political provocateur, someone that really creates a, a storm in a teacup, someone that makes the most outlandish, someone that makes the most hideous accusations that you have ever heard. Chilofia Tayali has been a political novice and a political nuisance for a very long time. And everything that he says, all his, all of his uh, Facebook antics are designed to do one thing and one thing alone, and that is to agitate, to annoy, to fabricate, to exaggerate, to augment, to create what is really not there. That's his whole push. One of the things that Chilofia Ta'ali made very clear was that his only goal in life, and this is his only goal, there is nothing other than this that he desires to do. The first thing that he thinks of when he wakes up in the morning is how he can get rid of Hakainda Hichilema. He said that many, many times. He's constantly said that my, my only desire is to remove this man, Hakainda Hichilema, as president. Chilofia Te'ali has made it clear on not just one occasion, but many occasions, that he refuses to submit, he refuses to live under the leadership of Hakainda Hichilema, which, which if that's his choice, that's his choice. But the truth is, there is a constitution that we have to deal with. And if he doesn't like the president, that's, that's up to him. But let's keep that in mind when we, anytime we think of him, let's, let's keep that in mind. So today, uh, all of you know that, you know, Tayali has been showing footage of some intruders, people that, that went into his property. Well, it's not really, it's not his property. The, the, the house belongs to a PF sympathizer who allows Chilofia Tayali to live there rent-free as long as he does the, the bidding of the NPF, the notorious patriotic front. Julie Fiatali doesn't pay rent. He doesn't do any of that. Any modifications to the house is done by the owner of the house, who is a, uh, who is a PF sympathizer. So Tayali, a few hours ago, showed footage of some intruders breaking into this house that belongs to the PF. And it, it's, it's there for everybody to see. It's clear that these people are intruders. The sad thing about this whole story is that Tayali has conveniently, and I want you to listen to me, he has conveniently, he has conveniently attached the military, the army, to this invasion of his home. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's CC footage of, uh, people driving into his yard, armed people, masked people, people that uh, I think there were two people I saw there with with uh, some type of assault weapons. Ali calls them rifles. The guy's so dull. He doesn't even know the difference between a rifle and an assault weapon. OK, a rifle is is different from what those guys were carrying. And. It shows this this footage, but Tayali conveniently and deliberately, maliciously attaches the Zambia army to this botched operation. The CCT uh, uh, footage shows Tayali giving a, narr a narration of the events, and he says, at some point, I shot in the air, I fired at the army, which it wasn't the army, and according to what we were seeing on the CCTV footage, upon hearing the shots, the warning shots from Chilofia Tayali, these trained army personnel fled 
from Chilufia Tayali's warning shots, which doesn't make any sense. And I find it so disingenuous, so so disingenuous for, for him to attach the name of the army to this botched invasion. I can tell those are intruders. I mean, even I, sitting here, I can see those, these are intruders. An intruder is someone that breaks into your home who shouldn't be there. But it, it is not, there is no way I can conclude after having viewed that footage, there is no way that I can conclude that that's the army. That is the irresponsibility of Chilifia Ta'ali. Now, of course, some of you will say, yeah, but Ta'ali said that he hid. He hid. Someone say, don't talk about the army. He hid. Well, that wouldn't stand in court because that's hearsay. I mean, just because Ta'ali said that he heard that, it doesn't mean that it didn't, it doesn't mean it happened. You know, I mean, some of you guys, you believe everything he says. Just because he says it was so, it doesn't mean that it was so. That's just hearsay. And so after he 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 went through this experience, and this is an experience that is self-induced. Let's be clear about that. Te Tayali offends so many people that you lose track of who he's offended. Tayali speaks so, so irresponsibly about so many different people that you lose track of who wants to do him harm. I mean, he makes enemies with everyone and everywhere. So for you, for him to pin this and to mal maliciously attach the name of Zambia Army, our armed forces, the army that is tasked with protecting our territory from enemies, domestic and foreign, an army that is given the mandate to stand in the gap for the Zambian people. Chilufya Ta'ali stands up and says, the army wanted to come and take me. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you make such a frivolous, such an irresponsible statement? You think the army sits there worrying about you? He's offended so many people in so many different spheres at so many different levels. It is difficult to keep track of who wants to do him harm. The army. You think that if you shoot your little pistol in the air, if truly that was the army, you think that the army would retreat from your little pistol? You think the army would, 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 would cower and crumble underneath your, your shadow because you're Chilufya Te'ali? The army? You think that the army, the Zambia army, would pale into utter insignificance against the backdrop of your puny self? Get real. Don't overrate yourself. That's what I was thinking of. Don't overrate yourself. Don't make yourself bigger than what you are. You're a one-man show. You're not even an opposition leader. It offends me to hear people call you president. How dare you think that you are the be-all and end-all of the opposition? And I am disappointed with the opposition, that the opposition, in all of its vaunted knowledge, the opposition would align itself with a joker like Chilufya Tayali. Do you not see that he's, he's the Pied Piper and you are playing into his hands? Do you not see that? I was very, uh, I was shocked to hear that the Socialist Party, the Socialist Party in, in, in support of Chilufya Tayali, the, 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 the spokesperson, but the Socialist Party says, HH is panicking. <laughs> panicking for what? What is he panicking about? 
Why would he panic? He's got the mandate of the people. He's got a five-year term. He's serving. He may not do everything the way you want him to be doing it, but he's serving. When he comes to the end of the five years, then we're going to kick into election mode. He's going to seek. That's if he chooses to. We don't know that. We don't know that he will. But if he chooses to seek re-election, they'll go into campaign mode. There's nothing to panic about. When I hear Zambian opposition leaders use this word, panicking. No, he's panicking. Panicking for what? You don't even know what the word panicking means. You dull opposition leaders. You, 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 you orangutans, you, you Neanderthals, you. Talking about panicking. Umuntu was elected by the people of Zambia. He has a mandate. He's doing everything that he can. Yes, he doesn't have it all perfect. Because you know why? Because he's human. He doesn't get it all right. But he's doing the best he can. And then for you to stand up and say, no, he's panicking. Panicking for what? He's serving. When he gets to the end of this term, he may run for re-election. And when he does, it is up to the Zambian people to give him a mandate, another mandate, or not. So what's there to panic about? We've only been, he has only been in office barely three years. What's there to panic about? What is there to panic about? How dare you? How dare you become so disingenuous that you don't even see the foolishness that is right in front of you? Supporting Chilo Fiatayali as the opposition? You guys are a bunch of jokers. Supporting a sex offender like Chilo Fiatayali, a child molester like Chilo Fiatayali. You're going to stand in the gap for someone like that? Goodness gracious, alive. I've heard it all, but, but, you know, this takes the cake. And then to add insult to injury, Savoy, she steps up and she says, oh, we've never seen anything like this before. Really? What planet are you from, Savoy? What rock have you been living under, Savoy? This is Zambia, Savoy. People are attacked every single day. People are killed every single day. People are maimed every single day. People's homes are invaded every single day. How dare you sit there and say, we've never seen anything like this before. We've never seen this. Why? Because it's Tayali. Tayali is a citizen just like you. He deserves protection. He deserves uh, investigation just like any other citizen. But for you to suggest that, oh, this has never happened before. So boy, pull your head out of the clouds. You understand that? Do you get that? Miss Thing, pull your head out of the clouds. This is life, Savoy. This happens to people all over the country, Savoy. People are killed and maimed all over this nation, Savoy. And it happens every single day. So no, you are wrong. You are disingenuous. And you are misleading when you say this has never happened before. Nonsense, hogwash, bull roar. Now, let's be clear. Outside, should have said of. Here, let me fix this. Outside of. I should have double checked that. Outside of a police investigation, and I want you to get this. This is important. We must, you know, because I know some of you say, but where are you as a duck? What do we do? Guys, relax. Outside of a police investigation, everything the opposition said today was fluff. They were up there pinning it on Hakainde Hichilema. Oh no, this must be the handiwork of HH. 
like HH was sitting in a dark corner with gathered with with army personnel. Okay, but if it were that style, oh, I'm Africa. We are Korea. Panga na padia. It is Muslim. The favorite body name footy name mask. It is Ngamwa Ingira. Mu kuka kaudia gardener kaudia. It is Ngamwa Muka ka take it already and kill him and drop him somewhere. You think the president has time to deal with such nonsense? You think you think HH sits there with machinations, scheming like that? Outside of a police investigation, everything the opposition said today was fluff. It was assumption. It was hearsay. It was all circumstantial. Nothing was concrete today that the opposition said. You guys are a bunch of jokers is what you are. You're a bunch of clowns. How dare you come as a consortium, as, 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 a, as, a, as, a, as a quorum? You come together, you sit, and you gather around this sex offender named Chilufia Tayali, and you defend him, and you stand in the gap for him, and you assume and you imply that the head of state is, 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 is creating this thing that this is a product of the head of state's machinations? Are you idiots listening to yourself? Are you clowns listening to yourself? Guys, there's a country to run, okay? There's a country to run. There's a people to serve. You guys should not be fooling around, dancing through the tulips, tiptoeing through the tulips, acting like saints when you're nothing, nothing but full of the devil. Okay? Don't act like saints. Be opposition leaders. Don't run off into the woods and start creating storms and teacups outside of a police investigation. Everything that the opposition said today was fluff. It was all hearsay. It was all assumption. It was all machinations. It was all a storm in a teacup. You're not opposition leaders. You're a bunch of clowns.